Here we are at the garden. We live in a 100-year-old house in West Brighton. It's only 20 foot wide. But since we don't have space, we have to substitute creativity and ingenuity. What we want to show you now is how to make a double dug or French bed. All right, what I'm going to do, well, plants live in the first top six inches of the dirt, of your soil, okay? There's a difference between soil and dirt. Soil is alive. Soil has nutrients in it, okay? Um, I'm standing on dirt and I'm working on soil. So what I want to do is aerate it. I want to loosen the dirt so that the, the roots can go down and find nutrients and find water. Um, they don't want to have to work hard. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take about a foot wide, six inch deep section of dirt off. Now, when they talk about turning the dirt over in a garden, that's literally what it means. We want to turn the dirt over. You'll scoop down and turn it so that you get fresh um, dirt on the surface. And if you see rocks, pull them out. And that aerates the soil and makes it loose and more friable. So what we're going to do is remove the top layer, put it in a wheelbarrow, a garden cart, put it on a tarp, okay? And we're going to take and move it to the other end of the garden bed. Because what we're going to do is double dig this bed. Now I want, your soil is alive. A lot of research in medicine is about the microbiome, about talking about your gut. In your gut, we have anywhere from a pound and a half to three pounds of bacteria, and they facilitate digestive processes. They can regulate glucose metabolism. These germs, most of the germs, bacteria in your body are harmless. They don't do anything unless they're in the wrong place. Some of them actually do a lot of good. So what we want to do is add amendments to the soil. You can put potting soil. You could get compost. Compost is organic humus, and there's also some manure added here. You can't go to the stables and put hot manure on your garden. It needs to be aged. It needs to sit for a while. So they've aged it, added it with organic material, and now I'm going to turn over the lower portion. And as I do that, I'm adding my amendments to the soil. So I'm going to have a very deep, very loose, very productive piece of garden here. All right? Now, so far so good. Let's take our next section. I'm going to remove the top. And what we can do, luckily, is turn it over in our first section. And we're going to work our way all along the garden. This will bring the level of the dirt up. This is called a raised bed. A raised bed has a perimeter and it's above the level of the surrounding ground. That ensures good drainage. Because you want water, but you don't want, don't want water sitting there. You want the water to get out. Otherwise, you're going to end up with root rot. We add out at our amendments and flip it over. Well, if you look at a movie, a video of a plow, it looks like a battleship going through a wake. And what it does, it actually does, as the plow goes through the ground, it flips the dirt and it turns the dirt over. Then that's just what we're doing here. So now I'm going to take the next section and put it on my second section. You can go inside, get some ice water while I continue to work. We'll, we'll be back in a minute. Okay. So, we've added our amendments to the garden soil. And I'm turning the dirt over in our second to last section. Now, it's important, once you do this, to not step in your garden beds anymore. What I, if, what I have on my beds is this raised perimeter. So if I had to get in and weed or seed, I can put a board across it, step in it, kneel in it, 
and not compact my soil. In fact, in this, because I use the rest of this for other things, what I did, I buried a milk crate so that if I do need to get into the garden, I can get to places and not have to mess with my soil. So we're almost through here. We'll take our last piece, flip it over, add some more compost, and I'm seeing earthworms as we do this. So that's, these are your little buddies. Earthworms crawl through the dirt, eat the dirt, and poop it out, broken down to its natural constituents, to its basic components. So earthworms are a really good sign that you have a, a working garden. Now, you don't need to do this every season. Every two or three years, I go back in and I flip it and double dig it. So now, we have a section with missing soil. What a quinky dink. Let's take our first dirt and put it back in. Now we'll level this, smooth it with a rake. So we have a nice level surface when we're ready to put our transplants in. But this really isn't done yet, because what happens, there are voids, light spots. So as this earth settles, you'll get high spots and low spots. So since I'm a little while away, I'm just going to let Mother Nature throw some rain in here. and help the dirt settle. And then what happens, I'll have high spots and low spots, I'll come back, I'll level it out again with my rake. And there you have it. A double dug or French bed. Just waiting to accept your happy little plants. So we have sun, get a spot, we get three to four hours of direct sun. We have soil. Next piece is, if we can't build out, we can build up. Let's go look at dancing flower pots. See, now, what's good here is, now this is dirt, and this is soil. When you can do that, now we have something to talk about.